Hi everybody, it's Bob from Buckeye Sports Center. Today I'm excited to take a look at the new 2021 Bayliner VR6. The VR6 is a 22 foot uh, bow rider from Bayliner. It's been in the line for several years. Uh, it gives a lot of uh, value, um, a lot of depth. Um, you know, it's really a, a great product for somebody looking for a very nice but deep, comfortable riding 22 foot bow rider without breaking the bank. So let's take a look at some things that make it unique. So as moving the bow of the VR6, uh, this is what we kind of consider a next generation bow rider style. So it's going to be a wider bow. However, you maintain a very, very deep V in the front. Uh, so the ride quality stays excellent. So you look at the, the, the hull shape and it's very, very deep in the, in the front. Uh, you've got actually four to five stabilizing strikes on each side to keep the boat very stable in the water, you know, push through rough chops. So really for a 22 foot boat, um, even being a more value oriented boat, the boat rides really, really well. Um, you know, as opposed to a more deck style boat where the bows are nice and wide and roomy, but the, the V shallows off real quick and they don't ride real well. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds with a wider spacing in the bow, but still maintaining a great deep V that's, you know, good through chop and boat wakes and other things like that. So the transom area of the VR6 does have a nice extended swim platform, so it kind of pushes you back away from the outboard. A nice boarding ladder, four-step boarding ladder. Um, so you've got a lot of usable space out here that um, you know really is kind of extended past the motor instead of having the motor be right there, right um, when you're jumping in the water, it's kind of tucked in underneath. Um, the other kind of nice thing about this boat is that you do have this walkway where you can enter and exit the boat without stepping on upholstery if you want. Uh, and then this kind of cool, a versatile back end where you can actually put the cushion up and kind of have like kind of a little lean back um, or you can put it put it all the way flat so that somebody can lay out um, like a sun pad so some versatility in the seating on this boat so as we move into the cockpit of the VR6, obviously space utilization, you know, Bayliner is known for their beam forward design where they carry the, the maximum width of the boat all the way up, you know, to the windshield. So that really opens up this middle cockpit area of the boat. Uh, again, versatility and seating and how you use the boat is the name of the game with the VR6, um, which is pretty cool because a lot of times a value oriented boat, you kind of get a cookie cutter layout. Um, this particular, the way it's set up right now, we've got cushions all the way, you know, around kind of making a U-shaped seat. Um, you know, in the cockpit, you know, this cushion here comes out and stores away. Um, if you want to create more of a walkway uh, to the transom area, come out pretty easily and you kind of have a step up walkway into the transom area, which is pretty cool. Um, and you kind of have this nice little seat back here. Um, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a seat where you can face sideways or backwards. So the port side seat's also cool and versatile. You know, we kind of have a traditional setup where you're facing forward right here, but it's also got three positions. So you can pop it, um, actually have it be facing backwards. So if you've got a tuber or a skier, you want to you know, sit down and with your legs going out that way, you can. You also could all the way put it all the way down to create kind of a, a layout sun pad or you know, there's a backrest here. So if you want to you know, sit facing backwards, but also have a little bit more space back there for somebody in the back, you can do that too. So again, it's pretty cool versatility in the seating for a boat that's a little bit more value oriented. So a popular option that this particular boat is equipped with is the, the wake tower and bimini top. So we've got a, you know, a nice sturdy, uh, heavy duty wake tower, but the nice thing is it's not ridiculously high cost compared to a lot of the other wake towers out there, but it looks good, it's simple. Um, but the really I, the reason why I like it, and I think a lot of people like it, is that this bimini top attaches to this tower really sturdy, um, and it makes the bimini not you know be as, you know flimsy like a traditional bimini would be. So a lot of people like that option, even if they aren't wakeboarding, they do like the top. So um, another cool feature from Bayliner on this VR6. So storage is one of those things that's not lacking at all on this 22 foot VR6. Um, this is actually one of the smaller boats in the industry that I've seen that actually has a, a head area. Um, you know, it doesn't come with the porta potty, but you can easily put a porta potty or just use that compartment for a big storage area for rafts or things like that. Um, life jackets, um, whatever you want to, uh, but you can use it for a porta potty. So a lot of people are like, oh, I really want to get something that has a porta potty just in case I need it. Um, for an emergency scenario, you definitely, it's, it's big enough that most people can get in there and a bigger guy is going to have trouble, but a lot of times it's usually for kids or whatever, and you do have that option here on the VR6. Um, obviously, there's storage located underneath all the compartments. Um, this, you know, ski locker um, is obviously included. You know, so deep, you know, nice finish off ski compartment. 
um, you know, down in the, uh, the middle of the floor there. You can see that's a snap-on bow and cockpit cover um, for this boat. Uh, but you know, Bayliner does do a nice fit and finish on all the compartments, so, um, but there's just tons of them. Obviously, um, on underneath all the cushions, there's a little bit of storage. So the dash area is always important. That's where the driver is going to be a lot of the time. Um, and you know, this boat is, is a really kind of nice. I like it because it's a little lower profile dash. It's not you know hindering my visibility. You know, all the gauges, traditional gauges, but they're easy to see, easy to, to get to. No fancy digital screens on this boat, just old school gauge technology. You do have an adjustable uh, tilt wheel. You also have a bolster seat. So if you are idling up to a dock or marina and you want a little bit better visibility, you can pop the seat up. So we talked about a little earlier how wide the bow was on this 22 foot uh, boat. And really this boat feels more like, because of the beam forward design that Bayliner uses, uh, because of this wider, bigger bow area, you know, this really has the feel of more like a 24 foot boat instead of a 22 foot. You know, but this is plenty big enough up here with the filler cushions, um, you know, to sit three to four people potentially. Um, so a ton of space in the bow area, a couple speakers in the bow, stainless steel hardware, um, you know, so really a, a good design. Uh, you know, with a lot of space um, and real comfortable up here to sit in multiple different positions and it's deep. It feels comfortable for the little kids. You don't feel like they're going to bounce out or anything like that. So really, really good design in the bow area of the VR6. So engines obviously always on the mind. How fast does it go? How much power does it have? Uh, this particular VR6 is standard with the uh, 4.5 liter Merc Cruiser 200 horsepower engine. Um, you know, this boat gets up and goes, you know, really nicely for recreational users. Um, you know, so tubing, you know, wakeboarding, you know, uh, you know, most people skiing, it's going to be no problem. You know, if you really do a ton of skiing and, and you have like, you know, people getting up on slalom and stuff, maybe you'd opt for the 250 horsepower on this boat. Uh, you know, but for most recreational families, the 200's got, you know, plenty of power. Thanks for checking out the Bayliner VR6 with us at Buckeye Sports Center. Uh, for more information, you can visit our website, um, BuckeyeSportsCenter.com, to view our full inventory. If you like this video, uh, subscribe to our page. We do a lot of videos like this. We appreciate uh, any feedback we get. Um, have a good one. Hopefully you guys enjoy some fun on the water this year.